My wife's down. She needs help. I'll get some help. Claudia, Claudia, can you hear me? Hang on. We're going to get you out of here, okay? Open the door. We need help in here. Open up the door. We need some door. Carly, Carly, hey, it's Patrick. Claudia's car has collapsed. We need some help. Okay, well, we'll be in as soon as we can. Okay. Sonny? Is it just me, or is it Claudia in really bad shape? I mean, she could hardly breathe. That concerns you? Of course it does. She's my daughter. When the chips are down, that's all that matters. Don't piss on my head and tell me it's raining. You don't give a damn about Claudia. You just think she told me something, right? And you're wondering if she got it out. Did she? Whatever it is she was about to tell me, I know it's not good news for you. Listen, you little weasel. If Claudia spills the beans to Sonny about how I shot Kate, you're gonna pay for both sets of loose lips with your life. What, what do you know about this poison that's in the air? Not more than you. Well, you're a nurse, you're educated. You never even read about anything like this before. Well, the thing about toxins is they're unpredictable. I mean, some of them strike you down immediately, others a little more hit and miss. Oh, great, random chaos. <laughs> what else is new? Random chaos is the name of the game in this town, thanks to people like you. So what happens next? Um, most likely a decontamination process. We've all been exposed, so the poison's probably in our hair and clothes. Have you heard anything yet? No. Dr. Drake! We need an update! We have to evacuate and decontaminate everyone one by one. We'll be in as soon as possible. Okay, so we need a sequence. Uh, my father should go next. Well, Tracy, I didn't think you cared. Wait a minute. Why should Edward go next? Because he's an old man. Well, so am I. I'm an old man in a wheelchair whose daughter just happened to be felled. Claudia needs her father. I should go next. You know what? I can make the argument that who Claudia needs is her husband. Carly's a mother. She should go first. So long, suckers! He's charming. What do you expect? He's a con. Oh, look who's talking. Daddy, son, he's not a con. He's a thug. There's a difference. No, 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 no. Corinthos, Zakara, and that one over there drinking, they're all alike. They're blights on the universe. Oh, and we speak so fondly of you. Seriously? You guys are gonna bicker the whole time we're in here? Oh, no. We could talk about you. And why would you want to do that? Because you are such a fascinating case study. For instance, you destroy everything you touch. Easy, Tracy. No, let her talk. <laughs> As if anybody could stop me. You throw a fundraiser to whitewash Michael's condition, and all your guests get poisoned. There must be a metaphor in there somewhere. You selfish bitch. How dare you accuse me of trying to whitewash Michael's condition? As if that's even possible. He's laying in a coma in a hospital bed for the rest of his life, Tracy. My dear, no doubt you've made some very serious mistakes in your life, but we all know that the blame for Michael lies squarely on Sonny. Uh, oh, excuse me. Have, have the other people in the boardroom been evacuated? Um, they're taking them out one at a time. Miss Sakara bumped the line because she collapsed. Jason, what does it tell you? <sighs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Take it easy. What are you trying to say? Uh, I have to warn Sonny, my father. What, what? What, Claudia? What about Sonny? Claudia, what, what? What's Anthony planning to do? Not only was a lethal poison allowed to escape through the air vents, but the hospital response team is woefully inadequate. Will you shut up? All you do is complain. The hospital's doing the best they can. Did you just tell me to shut up? Yeah, yeah. What's gonna happen if I don't? You're gonna break my kneecaps? Guys, play nicely. If I find out that 
mob insanity is the cause of this disaster. Okay. I'm going. Any objections? No. No. Not at, not at all. Please. What now? Just my luck. It's no picnic for me either. Robo, get in. Room, Mr. Zagara. Ah, that's very thoughtful of you, young lady. Um, maybe you could also help me with something else. My daughter Claudia collapsed. Do you have any idea where she might have been taken? I see you. Uh, I see you got your hands full. You go, do what you need to do. I'm happy to wait. I want to go stand by the door. Carl, you should go. If the toxin hasn't got me by now, it's not going to. You go ahead. I'll wait with Sonny. <laughs> well, why am I not surprised? Don't you ever learn? Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself? I remind it be said that I don't know how to throw a good party. You did not know this was going to happen, mm -hmm. okay? That does not change the fact that you were doing something good. Well, I haven't given up on that, you know. As soon as we get through this disaster, I'm going to, you know, pull it together again. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw another benefit. You know what you remind me of tonight? What? You're always steady in a crisis. Like the Metro Court. We were held hostage. You never wavered. When things get tough, you get tougher. Thanks. Carly Jacks. Say that again so I can savor it. Jax, where are you? I'm outside the hospital. But Olivia said that you were going to Hong Kong to help Lady Jane. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I turned the jet around. Midway, I started thinking about all the times you needed me and I wasn't there. Couldn't let that happen again. That means so much to me. I understand the hospital's been sealed off. It's, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to get to you. No, you just being here is enough. I love you so much, Jack. I've never known how I feel about you, Claudia. You're my daughter. You're flesh of my flesh. But your mother's in there, too. Her treachery, her ruthless ambition, all the things that trip you up. I suppose you can't help it. I mean, you're a product of parents you didn't ask for. In a way, you're an innocent. No, I will not let my soft spot for you get in the way. That idiot, Rick. He told you that I was Kate Shooter. And instead of doing the right thing, instead of coming to me and warning me about the traitor in my midst, you were all poised to tell Sonny all about it. I can't trust you, Claudia, and that's the bottom line. And you know what that means. I have to shut you up for good. <laughs>